Hello, beautiful Taurus. We're here to do your love reading. Welcome, everyone. This is Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Taurus. All right. Ooh, Taurus, you look good. You are doing well for yourself. You have Virgo energy, a beautiful home, a beautiful bird, a beautiful dress. You look good. You smell good. You are enjoying your life. Five of Wands. Ooh, you are competing for the attention. Or somebody is competing for your attention. <laughs> I like it. The Nine of Cups. The energy that you're having right now is that you're enjoying yourself after a period of time of disappointment. So it looks like this could be a little conflict, but this is mutual energy between you and your love partner. So we're going to see how that unfolds. Okay. How does your person view you, Taurus? How do they view you? The Tower card. Hoo-hoo. Okay. Taurus, what is going on? What is going on? That is you using your power. It's sort of like kaboom. I want what I want. I need a strong foundation. You are determined to have what you want. How did your person feel? Ooh, they have, they feel very passionate. There's some in and out energy. Um, it looks as though the way they viewed things was it was like a good time. It was a party. It was, they were willing to compete for you, but it looks as though you are not happy with this. You look as though you're putting an end to this kind of energy. That is Leo energy and Sagittarius energy. You're not really about playing games with anybody. You really aren't interested in in and out energy. This is, remember that commercial on TV at the, in the United States, it was like, don't fool with mother nature. And then she throws a big, a, a big lightning bolt into the scene. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your person has some moves, so you have Aries. You have a, a trine and fire here. So your person's very clever. They know what they want. They want you. This is Aries energy. This is bossing up, leveling up. Your energy, Taurus, is very much what's hidden here is that you want your wish fulfillment in a relationship and you will do what you need to do to get it. And if it means stopping somebody in their tracks, you have done it. What's spirit advising you to do? Three of cups, enjoy life, eat, drink, be merry with your friends. It's a reunion card. You might see somebody you haven't seen in a while. And the Wheel of Fortune. Look at that. So Spirit is basically giving you this beautiful outcome of the Wheel of Fortune. Saying, you know, everything's going to be okay. So let's clarify these cards for you, Taurus. Interesting energy. So Taurus. Okay. So why? Oh, look at this. Six of coins equal give and take. Let's make sure we don't have any others stuck in there. Okay, I'm going to pull another one because that was from the original deck. Let's see what else we have here for a clarifier. You really are about equal give and take. Nobody just gets to come in and do what they want and run off. You're not about that game at all. The Queen of Wands, you are standing in your power. Queen of Wands doesn't take anything from anybody. And that is Aries energy. And the Queen of Wands is certainly well matched to this chess player. What is going on here? Look at your person comes back. This is another reunion card. This may be, it looks as though you could have been apart for a, for a while. That you would have met somebody you might have had this sort of adventure, they weren't consistent, and now they're coming back because you really were not going to answer or deal with them in the way they were acting. We have the King of Wands energy here. So we go from the Knight of Wands to the King of Wands. So that is a very positive um, set of circumstances for you. We like Kings versus Knights, although we love our Knights, but we see the Six of Cups. This person is on bended knee. We have your energy. There you are, Taurus, and you're reading. You want stability, and you will have stability, and you don't really care what it takes. Why are they... <laughs> 
Okay, so it looks like this person had too much to drink, maybe. It looks like that's their excuse. That's their story and they're sticking to it. They don't want you to think that they are a bad person. I feel again like this may have turned into a one night stand with somebody you met that you've known for a while. Let's see what their energy is. Yeah, King of Swords. They know they have to use their intellect to work their way out of the predicament they've gotten themselves into. And they have the Spickle chess piece, so they're definitely going to play it cool. They're definitely playing it cool. Okay, so what do we have here for their energy around this star? What is their energy? The Eight of Cups. Ooh, you made them walk away or you walked away, but I think it was you, really. I get that they felt very, um, very, almost like insulted because you stood your ground. But then they look back and they're like, no, Taurus is really right to do what they did. But we're going to, we're going to explore this further. The Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups? here hanged man okay so your person walks right over to the garden and decides to go into hanged position so your person was a little huffy ooh, a little huffy a little egocentric here a lot of fire sign activity aries sag and um Gary, Sag, and Leo. Okay. The Tower card again. Oh, yeah. The Tower card brought you good luck because now you have someone who wants to manifest you and who is manifesting you. So let's go around again and see what the energy is here for your partner over this. How did your partner feel when you brought your Queen of Wands energy to the table to meet their Aries energy? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, yeah. Queen of Swords, King of Swords. The two of you are so well matched emotionally and intellectually. Fire and air usually do quite well together, so it looks like it's very passionate. The star card, your person respects you a lot. You stood your ground. This is the apology you wanted. This is the apology you're getting, and that has Put things right back on track for you. Look at that. <laughs> Your person walked away, but then they, they, they thought about what they did. They knew if they didn't come back and apologize, you know, to you here, that they would the tower would continue to stay down. So very, very swift movement here. Why is the uh, Wheel of Fortune here for you. Well, you've been defending yourself. You've been standing in your power. You are determined you're going to manifest what you love, not some random act of just somebody partying. Yep, here you are. Queen of Pentacles energy, King of Pentacles energy. That is three, three, count them three, divine union connections within one reading. And now we have the star and the star. That's hopes and dreams for love coming true. It's a very spiritual card. It's Aquarius energy. We just had the new moon and Aquarius. So it does look like things got out of hand a little bit because somebody, well, you, might, you were probably both drinking, but they went a little overboard. Okay, so how do you feel about this person coming back in to apologize with this Six of Cups energy? Hierophant, there you go. Taurus is restored. Taurus doesn't, you know, you guys have, you guys are very patient, actually. You're very patient, but, you know, you do expect the respect. All right. We also have Virgo energy. You would not contact them. I feel as though they contacted you and acted as if sort of this player energy was okay. They did a little bit of a disappearing act. They weren't really dating you exclusively. And it looks like your silence brought this about. Virgo energy flanking Virgo energy. You may or may not have Virgo in your chart, but you certainly know how to solve a problem with this magician, which is Virgo and Gemini energy. How does your person feel about stabilizing this relationship? 
the death card transformation that you know otherwise they were going to lose you that you told them with the tower and the death card and the hermit card you totally made it very clear to this person that whatever they did whatever they said their actions were not acceptable and you basically I think dumped them on their head now they're wearing a teapot for a bandage uh, they feel like a lightweight they took a lot for granted for whatever reason they thought they could kind of just treat you in a way that you clearly are limiting all right here you go nine of pentacles they do respect you so they're they see you standing in your power but they also see you as this very wise person two of cups they love you they're falling in love fast taurus falling in love fast the Nine of Swords, see, they don't like to hear criticism of the Leo energy. Oh, just tell a Leo, I love you, Leos, you're beautiful. But you tell somebody with fire sign energy they're wrong and they get this person got huffy with you. It's like, okay, hey, I'm just letting you know. You know, it's the way it is. It is what it is. And they didn't want to hear it, but when we when they wanted to see you again they couldn't see you because you had cut them off death card tower card tower card you hung them out to dry you basically made them think twice about how they treat you oh Taurus you're savvy savvy Taurus oh seven of cups yep you let them know and without ever saying a word you left them up to their own devices to figure this out. You went silent because the magician's silent too. Six of Wands, you get your victory. And the Eight of Wands, passion is reignited. How is this person feeling about the fact that the two of you are on good terms again? Oh, what a story. Sun card. Oh, the happiest card in the deck. That's beautiful, Taurus. Beautiful energy for you. Let's see what Moonology has to say for you about this reading. So you really gave this person, they thought they were just going to sort of play you, and that did not work at all. They had a great time with you. I do think this is somebody that you've known, okay? And I think that you gave them a little bit more um, trust at the beginning than you normally would because with a stranger you wouldn't have given them that and you felt like they stepped over their boundaries and so you pulled the rug out from underneath them and you wouldn't talk to them it's time to take action new moon and Aries okay so there that it is time to take action let's see what whispers of love has in store for you for a message Taurus I like this. Boy, you stood your ground. You were not messing around. All right, Taurus. Let's see. Taurus and love. What is the advice for Taurus and love or their partner? You are limitless. Recognize this truth and you can do anything you choose to do. Well, you already know that. <laughs> Let's see what the advice is for your person because they really stepped off the edge of that cliff. <laughs> what? is the advice for Taurus's person. Love who you are. You are a divine and wonderful person deserving all of the wonderful things that life has to offer. All right, let's get one for both of you. So they're not a bad person, but, you know, a little bit too much cheer. Ah, oh, the union of hearts. This is a connection that defies explanation. Gorgeous energy. Taurus, smart moves, Taurus. All right, you take care. Bye-bye.